Hello and welcome to Unturned, episode 21. I'm only going to be able to record a couple times in this uh, session just because I actually have work tomorrow and it's kind of late. So, yeah, I have a 12 hour work day tomorrow, so I probably won't be able to get too much recording done. And then another, like, 9, 10 hours the day after that. So. It's kind of why I was recording a little bit more beforehand, just so I can get a bunch of videos, just in case something like this happened. But yeah, everything's good. I should have plenty of videos to upload. I'm also going to be rendering and doing stuff while I'm uh, away, so no issue. Uh, I'm just basically trying to get back to my base here. I'm kind of abandoning the military area right now just because I really don't need it. I have too much stuff with me and I need to drop off a lot of stuff. I need to empty out and I need to basically move from, or just basically start my base in Arena. That way I can start unloading all this junk so I can start looking for interesting items and actually eventually start showing building and the structuring of larger foundations and eventually show off a big base which is going to be the arena and then I'm probably going to also be building a base in this uh, world too though it will be more like an outpost and I really don't care about the deer I actually grabbed a piece of meat but that's pretty much it now I am going to check out this, uh, actually, mm. I want to quickly equip these and refill them, and I want to take out some of these Zeds over near this helicopter crash. I think it was this P90 that I had that was suppressed. And the P90 is actually one of my favorites just because it's so accurate with... Yeah, I probably should have had a... Times 6 on this. Just the minimal recoil is why I like it so much. Though it does seem to aggravate even when suppressed, so that's not cool. I'm looking for a military suppressor. It's my main interest right now. I see explosives. I need to take you out. I'm actually getting the hang of actually firing faster with this. So hopefully I'll be able to rapid fire eventually. Uh, I can get up on this side, yeah. Uh, nothing of importance over here. So. I'm just gonna skip it. Let's see. Yep, I'm pretty much home. In fact, I should be able to see the area in which I usually land. I think that's my home right there. In fact, I can actually check. Yeah, that's my home. So, I'll be able to get there pretty quickly if I just cross this and get to the water. Yeah. Crouching isn't really necessary once you get close enough to the water because, again, even if the zombies do aggravate, uh, aggro on you, you can just swim away. 
But yeah, one of the next things I need to do is gather a bunch of wood, and I'm probably not going to do that on cam just because it's a very slow and annoying process. Good news is I have a lot of food and water, which is something I didn't have last time when I was building because I actually didn't think to hunt. And only it was only like recently that I started realizing that hunting actually got food that restored a lot of uh, hunger and could be sustainable. <laughs> I did a little farming, but that's pretty much it. I think the most I had with farming was like a bu uh, couple potatoes I put around that uh, one campsite. And I ended up eating those, <laughs> so... It wasn't exactly the best setup, but it was better than nothing. And here we go. Okay, I have to go this way. Oh. And I think this is the times 12, so... Oh, wait. This area is kind of dangerous, isn't it? Huh. Zombie in the woods. I'm actually interested in why there's a zombie in the woods. Is that a previous time when I died or something? Because that's concerning. I've never seen them in the woods. They're expanding. This could be a frightening event. this? That's Montague. I don't want Montague. I want this. Yeah, luckily I can actually sprint for an extended period of time. And I actually like the animation in which they're holding their weapon. And I actually have to change something because I forgot to close out of something. So I'll see you in a minute. And Okay, just want to make sure I'm safe. Okay, and I'm back. And let's see. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm like really just right over here. And let's see. I was actually seeing people playing on uh, multiplayer server having no issues, so I actually might check into that soon enough once I have all my equipment stored. I'm not sure if you can keep items going into multiplayer servers. I think that was a thing because they were saying a global inventory. It'd be interesting but I personally would suggest against it just because people can easily cheat doing that. Then again, uh, then again, this game's really just for fun, so. Now, I would be really panicked if they had put zombies up here or something. Because I know the closest zombie spawns are there, there, and as you saw, down there. Actually, yeah, these are the same thing, or same weight. Let's see. Yeah, most of this equipment actually can be. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put away the timber wolf just because I know it's extremely heavy. And I have no use for an extremely heavy machine or tool right now.
because I mean why would I really want a lot of heavy stuff with me I can actually make a another crate which would help So far this is the longest life I've had, which is nice. Zubeknarov. Pranity. I really don't need a high powered or I don't need a submachine gun personally. Most of my equipment is I guess military grade. Wait. Was I using a no I wasn't. Hmm. Wow. Oh. Must have get oh yeah, I remember I grabbed a few military grade weapons that were Not exactly helpful to me, but doesn't matter. Let's see. I'm going to toss out a NATO magazine and the NATO tracers. I'll actually equip that just because I don't like the tracers and I'm not going to use them anyway. At least, I'm not going to use them as frequently because they have a really rare ammo type and really don't help me in the slightest so eh. I do however need to eat and drink And there we go. Should be fine. I really don't have a use for this ninja top, so I'm just going to drop it. I know it's supposed to be rare, but I really just don't care about it. The road flare I don't need. Everything there seems to be pretty good. I can actually store stuff in here. I'm actually going to need those two. And a Savage magazine. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to fill up on that a little bit. Ninja Hood, don't need it. need to keep those there and right now I'm not going to use the Prunity as much just because I kind of like it personally because it's a decent overall uh, sidearm but eh. just make sure I didn't drop that muffler. Eventually I'm going to uh, get a better suppressor and I want this. Just using that to save space and just put that back with there there with that I don't have a shotgun anymore I don't need to be carrying around large quantities of civilian or military rounds Where's 
really wish I didn't get rid of all of those uh, revolver rounds. But I'm actually going to take the Zubeknarov and the Savage Mag I had. Just because both of those are civilian grade ammunitions that I can actually use. I'm trying to keep my equipment down to a minimum. Road flares are actually kind of okay, they're useful in that I can light up areas that I need to see at during night. Other than that, not exactly the best, but it's kind of what they're used for. Uh, I'm going to fill up this uh, NATO round and the Savage Mag I'm just going to keep. I personally don't need this much ammunition, but I'm trying to at least have some to be able to function. So I'm actually pretty well off on uh, military ammunition. I'm going to store that here. The bow I'll keep just because I know I'm going to get more materials with it and I should be fine. Let's see, how much weight do I have? I'm a little heavy on what I want, but... Huh, I'm actually almost out of both ammunition types, or both rounds. Magazines. Yeah, magazines. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna finish off this, go over here, shoot some stuff, and get ready for my base. Because I could use some more ammunition. And actually... Why don't I just use this for my... suppressed weapon? Because this actually does more damage. It's actually pretty funny that this is a better, I guess, rifle overall, because it does more damage. It's got a further range, and it's, I think, I don't want to say it's more accurate, actually. it's I know it has more recoil, but, I mean, it's, it's doable. fact actually I'm going to switch these out just because I want to have a somewhat sniper esque one of these There we go. Much easier to work with, actually. I'm surprised that went so well. Funny enough, my primary is actually better used as kind of a running gun type weapon instead of a sniper. But overall, it's still pretty good. And it's still a pretty rare item, so... Eh. Take what you can get. That should be fine. I'll bring this out anyway. Wind shields, I actually might want to use those soon. That'll save me on some resources. Cloth. I saw some bow, uh, arrows. I could really use some shotgun shells, even though I can't really uh, use them right now. I'm actually hoping to find a better shotgun, and it's 
I think it's police only, which is kind of sad, but I mean, it's understandable. Uh, I need this. So I have basically just tossed away all of my other ones. Uh, cans, still not that useful. I mean, you can make explosives in them, I think. Explosives with them. Not in them. I guess, technically, it would be in it. Uh, how much fuel has this got? Let's see. Didn't drop anything? Oh well. Huh. I'm surprised. I don't know, I just had that sudden feeling I just wanted to shoot him with this. Let's see. But yeah, I'm gonna try to get at least uh, three-ish videos done for today. I'm not sure how much more I can actually do. Uh, wait, can I actually break these down? I know I don't think I could at one point, but I just want to make sure. Because I know I can break down most of this uh, clothing right now to get cloth. I know the ninja top is really good for... Uh, night operations, especially when you have night vision goggles, but I unfortunately do not right now, so not very helpful to me right now. I can toss it in to get any wood back. Nope. I was gonna use it for the for its actual use anyway, so let's see. But yeah, I'm probably going to do most of my wood cutting off camera and start building on what I want. I only have two rounds left, so I'm just going to take him out. And I'll take the guy that's right next to the house out. that. I will refill that, and we'll be good. But yeah, as you can see, I have tons of ammunition, so it's not really helpful for me to just try to be too sparing of it. But I'll conserve as much as I can. This gun's actually just really good as a sniper. Especially with the times 12 scope, I really don't have to worry about anything. It's even good without a suppressor, though you can't really fire it out. Uh, I fired off in the middle of the town. It's understandable. I think it'd be equivalent to unloading an AK in the middle of a town. It's going to be noticed. Even though I have my uh, stealth skill pretty high. I don't want any chances to be taken. I don't know if you can break down these hats. I have a feeling you can't. Yeah. I thought so. Ooh. I see a bonjour clip. Bonjour clips are actually still useful. I got rid of my rifle though, so it actually might not be too useful to me anymore. Just because it is a 
uh, civilian grade equipment. Yeah, I'm going to drop it. I'm getting some shot, uh, some buckshot. There we go. And this having one of the highest recoils in game, I think it's the second highest recoil. Because I think the Timberwolf, which is the high powered sniper I have, I wasn't supposed to have the highest recoil, or that might be the second highest. One of those. I know it's semi-high. Take the energy drink. Anything that's not spoiled, I'll take. Except for, I guess, foods, just because I can break them down to seeds, actually. No. Just because I need to save my space and I just want to grab a couple things. I kind of like trying to aim with that, but it doesn't always work. So it's a little bit easier just to do that. <laughs> Let's see. Looks like a hammer. I don't know if this is required for some things. I think it is. But I'm not really interested in anything that would make uh, would use a hammer. I, however, I am you uh, wanting both the wire and that scrap metal. No, I'm not going to drop that. Uh, actually, I can, what I could do... Hmm. Actually, I have a use for this right now. Because I just thought of something. One place I don't like them just running at me from... is over here. Another one, I'd put it there, but that just saves me some space. And I want scrap metal because I can make wire out of scrap metal. I have one shot, so I'm probably just going to pop it off and kill him. Any non-military zombie still gets hit, uh, killed in one shot with this, so it's useful enough. And katana, I'm going to leave it. I hate katanas. I really hate them more than I could ever explain. How deep my hatred for them is. Just the deep hatred. Just because food's a little bit more important, I don't really have to worry about anything else. That's a lot of slugs. Why am I grabbing duct tape anyway? I just remember that duct tape's only good for... Okay, I guess the tactical light is okay. But again, it's not needed. Now, uh, I'll take the slugs just because slugs are decent. They're not the best. I personally don't like them as much. Uh, let's check the food.
Actually, oh, hi. Almost didn't see you, buddy. And standard bandage. This is unfortunately a lower grade loot table, I think. Ooh. I probably should be saving my ammo a little bit. Uh, vaccine, I don't need it. I know police tend to be a little bit dangerous here. Huh. Red flare. Is that a, head, a hand lamp? Nope. Let's see, anything good in here? Hopefully shotgun? Well, I just found shotgun. I'll take that. I'll take that. Oh, this is really good today. Another bready, I don't really need it. Another bready, don't need it. But yeah, this is shotgun. This is the shotgun I was looking for. I thought I heard something. Um. Well, scrap metal is a lot less more uh, a lot less useful than this. Now, let's see. That's a decent uh, one. Let's see. Buckshot. Actually, it's loading slugs. I don't like that. Well, I guess it just wants to load slugs anyway. Okay, this is the best shotgun. Done. Actually, I just remembered. I could put a muffler on this. <laughs> uh, I feel evil. One day, I actually can put a suppressor on a shotgun. Yeah. Can you say overkill? Safety. Yeah. It's kind of hard to aim this, but yeah, it's actually a little too hard to aim that. Not exactly the best uh, thing for shotguns. That's why I kind of like uh, the red dot for shotguns. Red dot or holo. 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 I call them holo, so. It really doesn't matter. I'm actually really way past my time, so. See you guys in the next episode. If you like what you're watching, subscribe. If not, oh well. Have a nice day. I just. Really got lucky again. I'm happy. Mm. Though I'm putting it away. <laughs> um. Actually. Mmm. Just because I want the muffler. And the slugs can stay in it. Because I really don't care about the slugs. But yeah, see you guys in the next episode.